What's up, this is Naked Eli, the most young clothed gamer, here with the Truth and Reconciliation Triple Nade stack to help us skip the hardest room in the entire mission and get to the final floor super, super fast. So, starting out, you're going to want to go here. I have it on easy so that I don't get murked by all these guys as I show you things. And there's tons of frag grenades and health and ammo for your sniper right here. So you want to come, and the frags are the most important part of this trick. You want to rush here as soon as that door opens, just make a beeline through all of this. And then right here, sometimes you can just run on through. Other times, if I feel like it, I will chuck a plasma here while I'm collecting all of these, and then that'll sometimes kill the enemies. And then once you run on through here, they typically tend to stop shooting at you, and the guys up there don't really care about you. So then you get to here, and this is the whole center of the trick. This is the magical overshield. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna actually throw a couple, actually three grenades right here in the vicinity of the overshield so that when we grab it, we have our minor invincibility and we jump at just the right time to launch us up to this first level. So you're gonna wanna have plasmas from the previous section. You're gonna need at least two of them. Sometimes the enemies as you're running through here will also have plasmas for you. And so some people have like exact points where they throw them. I kind of just eyeball it. Right here you see this shadow. I throw my first nade right about here so that as it lands, it lands right next to the overshield right around there. And what I'm gonna do is as that one is dropping, I wait and I'm allowed to throw my second plasma right in that same exact spot as that plasma lands because the plasma doesn't detonate until it hits the ground. It has a timer that goes off. So that one will hit that and then start going off right here. We throw our second plasma so that it starts going off at the same time. And then you have to immediately switch to your frag grenades and then throw it against sort of the bottom third of this purple canister. That way, when the frag hits the ground, its timer should be almost perfectly in sync with the two plasmas that we threw, so that all three go off at the same time from the same spot, boosting you up vertically really, really high like Superman. So that should look something like this. Give yourself enough room to throw that, and then you throw that one, swap, throw that, and then right there, my frag went off a little bit too late, and I did not hit the jump button in time. So this is not an easy trick. It takes some time getting used to, and the timing is super important. We come here, we pick up our frags. It looks something like this. As you're about here, you can start to throw it. And then I get enough height to get me to the second level. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I can do it again for you. Just so you get a couple of good takes. Come in through here, run in this vertical path. Sometimes, like I said, I might throw a plasma there on legendary in the far back, and that'll kill some of the, of the guys who are lagging towards the back. Throw this first one up there, then I throw that there, and then jump up, and boom. So once you get the timing down, it works pretty well. Now that we're on the second level, we want to get up to this ship. So what we do is we use a frag grenade against this wall, the lower you throw it, the sooner it connects with the ground. Throw it about here, and then jump. But you notice you want to jump before that, that um, before the grenade goes off. So in the other Halos, you could actually jump as soon as you press the button. But in Halo 1, it's slightly delayed. So what we want to do is jump just before we think is actually going off. Come through here again, we throw the plasma. Notice that that's an example of a bad one. If you throw it too far to like maybe towards that purple barrier then oh that was a weird one came back there and if you throw it too far to the left then it goes over there so you want to throw it about in the middle along this black line all right let's go back show you how this works and you need three frags and two plasmas for this to really work at a bare minimum we go we throw that there throw that there jump right before you think you got it come up here shoot this frag to here jump before you think it's going off that takes us up to here now once we're at the very tippy top this is the weirdest jump in my opinion the other two they sort of make sense once you get the timing down 
This one has a, there's a sort of drop here as you're walking. I don't know if I can show it to you. Obviously you see when I truly fall, but in terms of jumping, you don't want to jump off the very top of this. You want to like drop a little bit and then jump. It's hard to describe without actually showing it. So if you have a sticky, then you throw the sticky right about here. You run and you jump right here. And you want to aim for this left side. You can aim for this one, but honestly, this one's just as easy. And you're a little closer to the door, so you might as well learn it. Whatever you do, do not jump into this thing, right? You want to be very careful with the direction that you're going. A frag is actually better because you notice how as I'm standing here, these guys are shooting you. And so you ideally will have on legendary some overshield left. You come here, you can crouch or just look down. And when you throw the frag, it should get stuck on the ship. You use that to help you launch across here. Now I actually can't show you this jump right now on easy until I get my shields back. So let's do that first. And then I'll show you what it looks like with a frag. And then I'll do it all one more time and I'll try to do it with a plasma. Shields coming back. All right, so we come here, throw it down. Then we jump, run and jump. And you should just barely be able to get on there. Now you've skipped every single room in the mission. You've skipped all the enemies loaded in here. And yet the mission will continue in there at the gold elite. Now I'll try it one more time. And I actually might die to a plasma on easy. So, I actually don't know if I can technically do this. I will give it a shot. The damage you take from um, grenades on easy is very different from legendary. You take way more on easy for whatever reason. All right, so that gets us up to here. Come here, throw the plasma. And then there it is. So I jumped. That's like as early as you can jump right there. I actually took less damage than the frag. That's nice. And you can go back and rewind the video, but notice there was a little lip there, and it was as I was dropping, I pressed the jump button to get up here. And so that is how you skip this entire room, which is ridiculously hard, especially on Legendary, using the overshield triple nade stack, followed by a frag grenade jump, followed by a frag or plasma launch over to here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.